You know what time it is. It's time to get sauced up with another Super Saiyan Jutsu reaction to Breaking Bad. I'm here with Bree. Yo. Uh, last time we got introduced to Heisenberg. Heisenberg. That's... Yeah. It's all God. He's like split personality. Like this is just like I love this guy. Yeah. This is definitely I think the the subconscious version of him. It right. feels like like the the suppressed emotion and all that stuff is this person that he he, yeah. that he's been doing for as long as we've been seeing him on the show. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously him just taking these risks. He knows that he the the return they got on that. I guess the batch they sold prior mm -hmm. was what twelve hundred dollars something like that. He was like, nope. Nah, this ain't it. Not it. This ain't it. Ends up uh, sending Jesse in. He fumbles the bag, and then Jesse tried. He tried. He did try as hard as he could, like he, for yeah. yeah, yeah. He was but, petrified. But Hank has not like Hank's like. Is it Hank? Wait. Who? Why is it? Why am I calling him Hank? I don't know who. Walter. Yeah. Oh. Where did Hank come from? I don't know. Well, hey. Anyways. <laughs> no, but he's he knows he's gonna die, so he's like, well. Well, I mean, I'm just going all in. I don't think it's that. I think it's the fact he's like, look, I have no choice. I need to pay these bills, and I need to make sure my family is okay. Mm. I think he's looking at it from a very different perspective. You know what I'm saying? He has, he's he loses already, so he's like, I I'd rather go out trying to get my family a bag. Yeah. At least that's how I'm perceiving mm. it. But. Um, but if you guys want to catch this fully uncut, unedited, make sure you guys check out the Phantom Troop or Patreon. Link will be up top and down below. And also, if you guys haven't joined the squad yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys want to join us on our journey here. What is this? What is this? The Phantom Troop. <laughs> that, oh my God. <laughs> it's catching. It's not catching. People in the comments, give me, give me one of these. Do they're don't there. Do that. They're there. There's they're an not emoji there. For this. They don't exist. That's not even an emoji. It is. That's not. You watch. I'm going to flood it. Oh, my God. Anyways, you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. And the theft of lab equipment from your school is also receiving our highest attention. You're talking like you have a caught anybody yet. What about the janitor that was dealing drugs at the school? There is no indication huh? that this individual was selling drugs, hmm. and he's since been fired. I right. heard he had a record. Still the lab equipment, right? That's not our thinking at this time. Mm -hmm. We're looking at others who also had access, but not limited to the maintenance staff. Fucking inside job? Someone who's still at the school? Sir, at this time, I'm not able to discuss the details with you, mm -hmm. but what I can to... Children, you have to level with them. Nah. Really, we're giving you all <laughs> Nah, guys. Nah. You know, first of all, my man's turning into a savage right now, so... <laughs> it's like he's getting turned on by the fact that none of them know yes. that he did it. Yes. And he's like... I'm, I'm going to get these walls right now. I'm that guy right now. I, I'm him. They're what after me. Yeah, and she's like, oh, um. Detectors. Like, what you doing? What you doing, sir? Uh, she let him do it, too. Look, she's like, I've been waiting for you to take these walls, Walt. I've been waiting for you to take these walls. Now my question is, is he doing it as a distraction? Or is he really like, oh. <laughs> he is a different human. Yeah. I'd like to take a moment to thank him for that. <laughs> Tell us more about the equipment that was taken. Please. Yes. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? Please, Please tell us about the Please. Thank you. Two full face respirators. Some, some nah. Head, uh, some head with a thermometer. You're like, hey, you going in this. I'm beating these walls, girl. Oh. Where'd that come from? And why was it so damn good? Because oh. it's Heisenberg. You fucking Heisenberg. What'd he say? I missed it because you're talking about Heisenberg. It is Heisenberg. Because it was illegal. Because it was illegal. See? See, this is this is what I'm saying. He's getting turned on by the fact that he's he's, he's doing, bad, huh? He's getting turned on because he's bad. Because he's bad. He's like, he's yo, breaking and, bad. He's breaking bad. My man, she was like, oh my god. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker gave it a. That's the Heisenberg D. That's what that was. The Heisen D. The Heisen Dick. Heisen D. Not Dick. <laughs> oh. Heisen D. 
You want dick. Highs and dick. The basement. Unfinished, of course. But just look at all this space. Oh, chill. You He's trying to sell. Rec room. Meet. Now remember, you're buying oh. for this fantastic neighborhood. Big lawns There's gonna be a hole in the trees. ceiling? <laughs> what happened there? Bit of a fixer. <laughs> this house has great bones. Great bones. Not for sale. Recreational vehicle. <laughs> what you doing in there, bruh? Oh, you got your ass beat. I forgot. You still recovering? Lex Luthor. <laughs> <laughs> I visited you in the hospital, but you were asleep. Haunted house. You didn't actually go see Tuco. That is seventeen five. Your half of the thirty five thousand. Plus there's an extra fifteen in there. It's so Tuco gave you this is what you're saying. You made a deal. You made a deal? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how why would you make a deal with that scumbag? Just imagine making that every week. That's right. right. Two pounds a week, thirty five thousand a pound. Without even talking to me, you you told <laughs> this. Insane ass clown. <laughs> what about pseudo, man? How are we gonna get that? You think the meth fairy's just gonna bring it to us? <laughs> the meth fairy? God, it takes me a week to get this stuff. Well, here we are again. Here we are. <laughs> Scarlet, you look great. Thank you. Well, while I see you committed to the hair loss. Mm, yeah. <laughs> his color is better, you know, his energy. And uh, he's even more um, physical. More physical? <laughs> uh, well, Risky, actually. <laughs> well, realistically, it may just mean that we've got the antiemetics tuned right. Anything that helps my patient have a better outlook, a better comfort, is fine by me. Mental game. Ah, a lot of healing is mental. Yeah. Woo! Oh, true. He looks good. Let me guess, you uh, you picked this place? Tuco, you know, comes and steals my drugs and leaves me bleeding to death. Escalade. <laughs> bruh, why are you looking so nervous, bruh? <laughs> Escalade. And I got my two homies on the side. Boy. <laughs> Mr. Clean. What, they close the mall or something? <laughs> Heisenberg, come on, break it out. 0.53. Nah. I thought you was a player. You told me two pounds, and now you waste my time with these chiclets? 17 and a half. Minus and a half for wasting my time. Hey, come on. What? You gonna argue? You got something <laughs> to say? I'm doing business like a couple little bitches. <laughs> I want all of it. 70 grand. What did you say? You like this product, and you want more. Consider it a capital investment. <laughs> Local bald motherfucker with interest. 1.875 pounds. No. Two pounds. Next Friday. And no production problems. Can you handle four pounds? He's like Nick. <laughs> Listen, old man. Talk <laughs> is talk. But owing me money? Right. <laughs> Look at what's the name was like, bruh, are you serious? <laughs> Shut you up. could even get him two pounds. You talking about four pounds? We're talking two, three hundred boxes of sinus pills. There ain't that many. Okay. Here's the thing. I, I feel like I've got an idea of what he's going to be doing. He's going to make the shit. Yeah. He's like. He's fuck. either going to make it or he's going to replace it with a, a product that isn't pseudo but is still coming clear. Yeah. Because the problem is, is that the clear stuff is... It doesn't go clear because I'm guessing like all different chemicals they're putting in it to make it go further, to make the pseudo go further. I don't know the recipe, so I, I don't know the recipe, but that's what I'm gathering. Right. <laughs> Smurfs in the world. We're not going to need pseudo ephedrine. We're gonna make phenyl acetone in a tube furnace. So no pseudo. No pseudo. See, look at that. So you do have a plan. Yeah, Mr. White. Yes, yeah, science. <laughs> Science! I can't do this. I've never once 
Believing in yourself? Hmm? I don't know. Listen, <laughs> these things, we need them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I dropped her off at the curb, but uh, then I... Uh, That's where I got Hank from. And, uh, happily ever what? That's where I got Hank from. Yeah. I was like, there's a Hank in here. Yeah. There is a Hank. Fucking Hank. <laughs> Ollie, I am very proud of you. And uh, I think about you all the time. Always know that you have a family who loves you very, very much. Little D. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm a man like hey, all these titties, though, cuz. <laughs> no. I'm a man like yo, these titties, though. <laughs> I hate opening presents in front of people. Why? It's, again, the same thing that happened at the birthday party. It's just, like, it's, nah. It's not awkward. Yeah, it's so awkward. you got to pretend that you like everything. <laughs> what is it? A tiara. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. 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 Mar Marie, is this some... Um, White gold and several carats worth of zircons. Oh, Marie. <laughs> You got anything stronger than beer? <laughs> nah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You got anything stronger than beer? I got acid. Sorry. I got uh, just a thing to go with that. Got a cigar. Hmm. I'm sorry, man. I wasn't thinking. No, 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 no. It's okay. Hank, I've already got lung cancer. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know if that's going to help. <laughs> Cuban. Hmm. Confiscated. I did a little favor for an FBI guy. Exactly. Confiscated. Sometimes forbidden fruit tastes the sweetest, doesn't it? Yo, is this crazy? See, this, this is so crazy. It's crazy because you have this guy always talking about... What's right. Or is right or wrong, legality. Oh, you know, he's... You know, he had... He had weed on his record. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> da, da, da. Bro, you imp you're smoking an a illegally imported cigar. Why are they illegal? I think there's something to do with Cuba and because there was a whole Cuba and the United States thing that was going on for a long time. Like there was a ban, like you couldn't actually go to Cuba. Right. Like there was a whole bunch of stuff going on. Um mm. outside of my capacity to care. Uh Got but you. yeah. Fair. Um but still was illegal for some time. So Super interesting that he doesn't care when he likes it. You know? Yeah. So crazy. You know, if we were drinking this in 1930, we'd be breaking the law. Hmm. Another year, we'd be okay. Well, you ought to visit lockup. You hear a lot of guys talking like that. Hmm. Hey, man, what you busting me with these 14 bales of ganja? It's all going to be legal next year when Willie Nelson's president. You know, I think she got that at... Gertrude Zachary's in Nob Hill. Not gonna lie, I, mean, I would love it. to cost like what? What? <laughs> I would love it. <laughs> I'd throw that shit away. I'd be like, hey man. No, you would not. First of all, for what? Why does a baby need a white gold tiara? They can wear it in a photo, uh -huh, and then and it's then... a keepsake for them to pass down to their daughter. That the daughter will never remember they had. You wore this when you were a baby. That's right. I've never seen that in my life. I don't remember that. That's well, funny. then you could give it to your daughter so she could never remember it either. That makes no sense. That makes no Maybe sense. Six hundred dollars? Maybe an experience. Mm. Really? Mm. You in a sweat lodge? What's he, he's gonna? He's looking for something. Yeah, there. there's yeah. They're gonna have something that he needs yeah. for sure. Uh, I was thinking about driving up on Friday, coming back Sunday. Okay with it. Well, of course I'm okay with that. Sweat lodge? Yeah. I'm already sweating. Help me out. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're gonna make it. He's pretending he's going. Hey. What? He's pretending he's going, uh, so he's got time to make four friends. pounds. Excellent. This is excellent. Very good work. How are we gonna do that? With this. What? Oh, is that like an extra sketch? Hmm. You'd like to return this. It's very nice, but yes. Well, it, it is from the store, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's from this store. And Mr. Wilson, could you step over here, please? Mr. Wilson, I'd like you to watch this lady while I phone the police. Whoa, excuse me. What? 
Yo, this is crazy. First of all, fir first of all, <laughs> the profile on this is wow. You don't look like you can afford this. Oh, this was bought in here. Okay. I don't have the receipt. Oh, it was a gift. Like, it's like either you stole or, it from the person that actually bought it and now you're trying to sell it. No, I think it was a stolen piece. I think her sister stole it. Right, because she stole the shoes. Correct. And he's like, this was stolen last week. Yo. That's what I think. I don't think it's a profile thing. I think her sister Yo, stole it. That's actually correct, because she did steal those she shoes. She stole She's the like, shoes like nothing. Excuse me? Ma'am, this item is stolen, as I'm sure you know. It, Come with me, please. All right. I, I told you. That tiara was a gift, a, a, a baby shower gift. So who gave it to you then? And I can tell them how my daughter-in-law remembers showing this particular item to a tall blonde woman who, when her back was turned, walked right out the door with it. Mm. So there. Oh yeah? Tall blonde. Well, then I can talk week? to the Channel 3 News. Who? A week? Probably a week. An innocent pregnant woman in a dank storeroom. This is my office. <laughs> I can't hostage. Marie, it's Skylar. I just left Zachary's. I need to talk to you immediately. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Guard, he says he's yeah. coming by. <laughs> Do you think he already passed? <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Here. What y'all about to do out here? Y'all really out here? <laughs> nah, son. It's all they had. My man really doing dirty jobs right now. He out here getting his hands dirty. The level that people go to like to support their family. Like that's how you gotta think of it. Like Oh, for sure. In real life. Yeah. This is like what people do to make sure that their family's gonna be okay. Yeah. Because they're embarrassed to say otherwise. They're what? He's embarrassed to say otherwise. He didn't want to take the money. He wants to look after it. Yeah. It's his pride. He's like, no, I've got to do anything it takes. Well, I mean, it's pride. And also, like, we still don't know what had went down between them. So he's probably like, I don't want none of it. I don't want none of it. We don't know what happened between them right. as friends, so, or partners. Are you going to lock him in there? Mm. Nah. <laughs> Are you gonna push him over? <laughs> That's what I would do. Oh, would you? <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, what's going on? Nah, bro. The bells is gone. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Put it on the golf cart. Yep. Barely. Barely. <laughs> barely. 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 Hey, barely. barely. <laughs> yeah, baby. See, eat it. Okay, I'm the king. I'm the king. <laughs> I'm the king. What part of slow it down did you not understand? <laughs> Oh no, this is a bad idea. Nah. Open house. Ugh. Keep the temperature steady at 425 degrees. Well, for the foreseeable future. Hmm. How long is uh, that gonna be? I mean, in your uh, situation. Right. How much cash do you need? Huh. Yo, they all through the house. Oh my god. <laughs> Was there by any chance scheduled for this afternoon an open house? I left her a message, man. It's not my fault. I don't care how you do it. Just keep them out of here. Do you understand? Facts. Okay, go. Take your mask off, bruh. Oh. Oh this my. is such a good episode. There's so much going on. Is she gonna steal this too? Look, her sister walking up, like, yeah. They accused me at Zachary's of shoplifting it. What were you doing at Zachary's? <sighs> I was returning it. You 
were returning it. Can you tell me why you do such a thing? <laughs> She's like, I do it all the time. Hmm? I've got, I got nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm a thief. That's what I do. I, this is what I do. My husband smokes illegal stuff, and I do illegal stuff. We just illegal out here. <laughs> Not house is not for sale. House is not for sale. <laughs> no. Oh no, bro! Now you switched up. House yeah, is not for sale. Yeah, like that. I wonder what that what happens if there's a, a a kickback, like if there's like a penalty you have to pay for like wasting their time. Waste well, you'd have to pay for the agent's time. Yeah, that's it. Sacred Navajo herbs. Because <laughs> apparently when you're pregnant, your senses are heightened. Right. So you can, like, everything you can smell. I mean, I would imagine that he was cooking is probably still pretty pungent, though. Yeah. Well, she stole it. People sometimes do things for their families. Mm-hmm. People sometimes do things for their families. Mm. I must have been some sweat lodge. <laughs> have you been listening to the words coming out of your mouth? What does that mean? <laughs> you don't want to find out. So. so. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, blue, yellow, pink. Whatever, man. Just keep bringing me that. All right. We're going to make a lot of money together. Just remember who you're working for. Ooh. Oof. What did you Ooh. say? Ooh, he about, to, he about to fuck him up. Who? This he one? He about to be like... Yeah, because you never... Nelly, you're going to fuck it up for him. First of all, it's, it's like, first of all, first, it's not even that. You the crony, my guy. You are not even the guy. Yeah, who are you working for? Yeah, don't forget who you work for. Who are you working for? <laughs> I want that. How about you shut up when grown folks is talking? I'm just saying, they gotta know that they're working for you. Like they don't already know that. I'm just saying. No, you're just speaking for me. Yeah. Like I ain't got the goddamn sense to speak for myself. <sighs> I'm relaxed. I'm Hands. Relaxed. I'm relaxed. Ha! Knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Oh, no, you don't want that. You don't want that. Oh. 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 Yep. Oh. Oh. Too much. Mm -hmm. Stop. Mm -hmm. Stop. Ah! Oh. Damn, man. Look at that. Look. Next week. <laughs> <laughs> Next week. Yo, bitch ass up. Sheesh. <laughs> I told you. I was, he about to catch a hand real quick. Do is that run this fade? Yeah, that, 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 that. Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> he like yo. Jeez. That was so, so good. There was so much in that. Yeah, I'm liking it more and more as it's going on. Oh, so am I. Like the more I think it. Like, I liked the start, but it was definitely a slow start. Yeah. Like, a slow burner. Yeah. But now there's, like, each episode seems to be more jam-packed. Yeah. Like, with things happening. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of tension. I think a lot of it, too, though, is just seeing how how Walter is, is going to be dealing with these types of scenarios. Because we look at him a particular way. Um, and this Eisenberg character that he is in the streets now has to have a particular persona. Mm -hmm. So 
we kind of talked about last time, like, how is that going to bleed into his real life? Natural, yeah. And, like it, And it kind of did it early on, line. where it's like, okay, here and there, you're starting to see things bleed into his real life, um, with it's how he is with his wife. Exactly, like, that was a crazy thing. We're starting to see... he's getting off on the illegal stuff. Like, he's he's getting turned on by it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the thing, though. It's like, it's it's an addiction, almost. It's like, oh, I got away with it. All right, let's do something else. Like, okay, we get that. Because, like, the fact that they're cooking is one thing. But he was like, oh, we need what? Oh, let's go steal it ourselves. Yeah. What? Yep. That's, that, there's no privacy in that. Right? You're going somewhere and, and putting you yourself. And caught. Exactly. So, it's like, that's a whole other level of, like, bravery. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's wild. Because now you're talking about theft, and then depending on what the value of is of that, it's like, what does that look like on felony side of things? Yeah. Like, that's a very... It's, it's he's. But then it can also lead to them getting busted of cooking meth. So that's like... No, for sure. But I think that's the thing, though, where it's like, there's a ton of risk that we're seeing him take. But again, he even asked his wife, like, what if it was me? Like, what if... He was testing the waters there. 100%. Yeah. 100%. He was like, I wonder if I can tell her. I don't know if it's that. I just... I think it's more so of like, if she finds out what's going on... How is she going to react? Is she going to snitch on me? Because mm-hmm. I'm doing this for you. That's the that's the crazy part. That's the crazy part. And he's being... He, there's definitely that, that real element of it. Like, in the States... A lot of people are trying to survive, right? Like being here in Australia, there's that's not a feeling here, but there, there's a definitely there's a feeling of trying to survive for certain uh, demos of people, certain areas of certain cities. Mm-hmm. You could tell like they're trying to do whatever they can to put food on their table, take care of theirs. Like that's just what it feels like, yeah. And it's it's just what happens. So they'll do whatever it takes. So I think in that regard, it's that's where this kind of falls in of that mm. that gray area of I have nothing for them, I have no savings for them, I'm not gonna be here, so I'm gonna do whatever I can in the remaining time that I have to try to get them some bread, so that at least they have some kind of cushion, yeah, or something. I can see that being a reality. For someone in the states, for sure. I think in anyone in that scenario, though, you want to do try and do anything possible. Yeah, but I mean, I think I yes, for sure. But I think certain people, though, based on their circumstances, may still look at that as too big of a risk. So they probably still won't do it, mm-hmm. right? So right. he is. I think with him, though, him being a chemistry teacher. They just things just aligned perfect. Of like, him, yeah. You know what? I know how to make this, mm. right? And even the whole idea of like, now we're gonna replace this with this. It's gonna be the same quality. Mm-hmm. And unless you know chemistry like that, you're not gonna know. You're not gonna know. Like, yeah. oh, this is the recipe. That's how you make it. And he's like, no, you actually don't need that. You can do this, this, and this, and make the same thing. That's kind of wild. That was crazy. Such a dope episode, though. Let us know your guys' thoughts on this episode in the comments. Uh, and again, some of you guys are doing it, but please let us know what episode number you guys are most excited for us to see. Uh, and if you guys haven't caught this uncut and early, make sure you guys check out the Phantom Troop or Patreon. Links will be in the description and the card up there. But other than that, catch you guys in the next week. See you next week.